and we continue to celebrate men achievers in this month of February. Now refusing to let his physical disabilities to hold him back, Francis Atia, born with hearing impairment, decided to set up a business upon completion of a course in carpentry at Bechim Technical Institute for the Deaf. However, stepping into the real world, he veered from carpentry and took to fruit business with the reason that the turnover could be higher due to hot demand for the item. The Bulga indigen has stuck to the fruit business for the past eight years. He shares a story in our segment on these men in the informal sector. It's Francis Atia, a fruit seller born deaf. Coming from a family of five, Atia is the only child who has such a condition. He says life wasn't easy when growing up in an environment where he is the odd figure among people who can speak and hear. When my father or my parents were coming to me, but I find it difficult even to get what they're saying. So the the best option they took is to write to me. Whatever they want me to do, they write to me and I also write in reply. He says after senior high school at Bechem Technical Institute School for the Deaf. He decided to set up his own business since he has no passion for the carpentry, ironically the cause he pursued in school. He has been at it for the past eight years. Yeah, after my education, in fact, I was uh, in the home, relaxing, doing nothing. So I felt, no, I need to find something to do. So I decided to uh, set up this business so that I'll be able to cater for myself and my family. Born speech impaired, Francis says he loves what he does since it puts food on the table. He says he was ridiculed at the beginning of that effort. In fact, uh, when I started this business, uh, it's like uh, it, was, it was not going on well because I don't know why, because of my condition, they will come and buy in credit, but we refuse to pay. So, sometimes, some of them, <laughs> when they see me coming, they will like, play hard as sick. So if I manage to get my money, the next time you come to you come and say you want to borrow, I will not, not give it to you. Francis bemoaned what he called the canker of maltreatment and cheating meted out to persons living with disabilities. He told a personal experience when he was once employed as a salaried worker. A lot of uh, uh, institutions who employ their people, or businessmen who employ their people, in fact, at times they cheat them. They made them to become like a slave. So I decided to go solo, to farm, set up my own business. Atia says being deaf didn't stop him from achieving anything he wanted to do. His customers communicate with him by gesticulating. They use uh, local signing that uh, when they manage to see that I'm a deaf, then they use a sign indication. If they say to, they want three, they will do three like this uh, for me to. Uh, at that time, they also sh they show the money. Sometimes I, uh, I give people to people and to them. Sometimes uh, those around here, where well, they manage to know that I'm finding it difficult to uh, and, uh, what they correspond to her, then the, especially this mother, they, uh, they come in and uh, assist. His good customer care services have sustained the business as more and more people patronize him. Well, you wouldn't even know whether you know he's struggling with any disability or anything because when i come here and i buy he hears what i'm it's as if he's hearing what i'm saying and he gives me exactly how much and the change and everything even with the mask on you can see that he he really does know his business all that card yeah send you basically is when you are buying from him with a sign language he will tell you whether it is expensive or not always you know like on you take ten me. He always entertains me. So I always buy from him. Mo sabi as a one city that met to am yesi. There is a two city say am yesi chira na say be am buy two cities. And to always me feel say my ban in chama to add one in chain. You need pound person the customers beba. No need be. He always wants to satisfy his customers. Be make sure so be pay be e the amount. So I had it e won adwuma. Auntie Stella Amekuji has been offering helping hand to Francis when he finds it difficult communicating with customers. She commended him for his hard work. It wasn't easy from the beginning because he was finding it difficult to communicate with customers. That is why I'm always around to help him. Papa. 
but me ne ka all of us do be hu se na wati ase rosemary usuata has been a friend of francis for over a year and doubles as a customer she has the passion for sign language and this has enabled her to pick few lessons from francis since i showed interest in um learning the sign language he he's been very receptive anytime i get here you know he smiles oh my friend has come you know oh how was work today what's going on like he he loves politics his preference is notwithstanding he faces some challenges as an outlet for foods that he launched an appeal for help so i saw he is sicker and he needs money and a better accommodation. He needs money and a better accommodation. His inclination towards business is evident in further choices he made. Francis says in future he wants to open a provision shop to supplement his income. Yes. I want to see myself in the next, next five years that I'm not in this stage as I am. I have been improved higher than today. He advises persons with disabilities to occupy themselves with endeavors which are profitable and stop begging for arms. He added that deaf people are capable of changing the world to make it better. I was sitting in the bus, a deaf person carrying envelopes came to me in the bus, asking me to drop something. So I read that ah, you are that person. I said you, you are stubborn. We've been wanting you to stop begging. Why don't you find something to do, to do? So I asked him to move away from the car. So I'll ask them, please try to find something to do. Living with disability can be one of the most challenging experiences that anyone could ever face. There is a saying that disability is not inability. Francis' disability never stopped him from achieving his dreams. Francis has a unique way of communicating with his customers. In my first encounter with him, I communicated with him through writing. He gave me a paper and a pen since he can read. Francis Atia says physical disabilities should not stand in your way whilst pursuing your dreams. He advised people living with such condition never to feel embarrassed about their disability. He admonishes them to be proud of themselves and their achievements since they are also unique. To the people in the vicinity, Francis Atia is an inspiration.